And this is how it's looking in London at the moment. A lot of grey cloud. It's quite dull. Outbreaks of rain. And that rain continuing to sweep eastwards during the rest of this afternoon, clearing all but the northern isles by dusk. Elsewhere, we'll see those brighter skies with a few showers, but also a fair amount of cloud floating around too. Now, it is going to be windy, particularly in the north, where we'll see gales in exposed areas, and that's going to make it feel quite chilly, despite temperatures around the seasonal normal of 5 to 8 Celsius, possibly touching 10 or 11 in the far south. Now, during this evening, we'll see that frontal system moving out into the North Sea and then wintry showers packing their way into northwestern Northern Ireland and parts of western Scotland, but elsewhere essentially dry and clear, leading to patchy frost and also some patchy ice on untreated roads and pavements. So for tomorrow morning, starting off bright and dry in many central and eastern areas, but we'll start to see some showers coming in quite quickly in the morning, and those will congregate and gang up, bringing some longer spells of rain into parts of western Scotland and Northern Ireland, turning to sleet and snow over the Scottish mountains, and then moving eastwards during the afternoon, although parts of eastern England could remain dry and bright all day. Still quite windy, though, temperatures around 5 to 7 in the north, not as high in the south as today, around 8 or 9. And then on Wednesday, we're watching out for this little feature coming in from Iceland. It's going to bring some cold air, some strong winds, and also some significant snowfall for parts of the Scottish mountains. So we'll keep you updated on that. And we'll see that moving erratically southwards during the day. But the best of the bright weather is going to be in the southeast. And for Europe, we'll see it across much of the Mediterranean, although some showers in the far east. Bye-bye for now.